I am drunk. I am drunk with words and with the thoughts of others. What passes? What passes? The river. The river outside. Der Fluss da draußen. Das Wasser. In Athens, some say that the gods had never died. Go there and you will feel the spirit touch the very core of your soul. At night, on her streets, the ancient mingles with the present. Old dogs rest outside the gates of ancient ruins. They are the soldiers from long ago, reincarnated here. Modernity is everywhere, sharp-edged, cubic, and functional. Just outside the window, the river flows. The water is neither slow nor calm. It is unsettling. Danger lies just beneath the restless surface, deep within the river is where old Norse gods rest deep and long forgotten. I have come to know these gods. At first light and when darkness falls, when the wind whistles and crowds scatter over the red brick tower, you feel their presence. Look hard. They are hidden beneath modernity, in the hills beyond, not far from here. Ghosts drift amongst the woods and ancient encampments. Existence. What is the nature of our existence? What is the nature of the thing we call existence? The motion of things from one position to another, bound by the sacred. Life as we know it, well, trying to put that hammer right down on the nail. Life is not a dress rehearsal for some other place beyond. One sees life force within the flicker of light that flashes across the eye. More correctly, from within the wet eyes of the living. It looks out at us, belonging to the measure of time contained within that vessel we call the body. Existence is sensory. Touch it with your hands. Go on, touch me. Touch. Existence. You see, and you feel it all around you. You hear it in the sound of the birds in the morning. It's there in the smell that rises from the earth, to the flowers and to the frying pan. That energy that runs down your veins, electricity that impulses through the brain. Laughter, huh? <laughs> Tears. Anger, happiness, fears, thought processes, the things you think about and the things you do, inputs and outputs, time and space. The air is solid with the things that you cannot see, waves, words and energy. What do you say to that? Clown asks. Input and output. Now there's a thing. 
What is the idea of you? And what is the idea of me? Look at me. And look at you. I'm standing here with all my wires, soft fleshy bits and metal frame. And you there, with your stringy bits too, flesh form and bone frame. I'm inputted, and you are too. We're both programmed by something. Think about it. You've been inputted, and I have too. You stand there thinking that you are an independent entity. You're shaped by things that have happened to you. By circumstances which you have no control over. Me too. Your desires have been engineered by the big in, out, in, out, in. Words go flying through the air, landing in the ear. We are no different, all just wires, soft flesh hung onto hard form. Impulses running down those stringy bits. And when the life force leaves the form, and the water evaporates, we are dust. You and me. I'm there in your mind. I have you right there in mine. I'm thinking about you right now. Looking through your eyes. You could say that I've got right out of my mind and entered yours. Have you ever tried Ketamon? We speak of existence, but what of the spirit? Hmm. Hmm. Looking long and deep into the still and cloudy eyes of the dead is the strangest, most profound thing. Within that moment, time dissolves. Life itself becomes everything and nothing. All those years of life, words and action, all finish on the very last beat of a heart. Death is abstract. Human years shrink to nothing against the great eternity. Where does spirit go? Where do all things go? Like everything into the great endless mystery. A fatal bike accident. The lorry does not move. One sees the remains of a buckled bicycle trapped beneath. The mind fills in the picture of what the eyes can't see. Crowds gather. The air is dense with silence. Moments later, the stretcher appears, slowly carrying to the ambulance. Red blanket covers the body. A young person, no doubt. The spirit that hovers fills a vast ball of silence. That person's existence living 15 counts before, on their way to lunch, no doubt, and knocked from the body forever. How long after did that spirit continue along the way to lunch? The spirit
the spirit of the law. The laws of nature. We stand amongst the law. Life and law. So intertwined they could be one. of justice move slowly forward and the process begins process is law in action like life law has many different forms some say animal color Smell. Law is the art of linguistic precision. Law is the anesthesy that gives the illusion of justice. All encompassing. Where there is society, there is law an instrument in the hand of the powerful for good and for bad. Like a living organism, law reaches out to all corners of existence. It's there in books. Our every action is affected by the letter of the law like the metal armature that gives sculpture its inner strength. Law is the superstructure on which society sits. These walls, this roof, which forms the room we stand in, are bound by legislation. Go beyond the law and there will be consequences. The banana on the ground. Pick it up. Go on, pick it up. Eat it. You are in contact with something shaped by the law. And when you eat the banana, you can say that the spirit of the law lives within. Take the vending machine. It operates on electricity, and it operates within the law. The courtroom is the theater. The mask and the dress empowers those within to become something other. Ceremony and ritual. Symbols and ritual are pregnant with meaning. Emblems touch all, speaking to us of honor. Law and the aesthetics are forever bound, hitting upon the imagination. Law is inner life. It shares this common ground with a work of art. It is what animates the air we breathe, the invisible, what passes through, all governed by law. Old gods have made themselves known. The drumbeat is ancient. Primordial life force, present, within, evokes and summons us all. Remember, I am metal frame, foam and energy passing, the product of this room, 
the sum total of things said and done. These thoughts are not my own, but have become who I am, the product of your input. If only I had the stomach for love and food. I am reality born into this room, existing in your mind. When I leave, that will not change. Like the Cologne Nubu, I am everywhere and nowhere burned into the imagination. Forever. Time, past and present collide. What passes? The river, the wind, Life and law are everything and nothing, the illusion. <laughs>